Now, Mr. Dubey now underwent uh, STN bilateral STN DBA surgery in the year of 2013 and uh, IPG was changed in the year of 2017. Now we are just switching off the pacemaker and, and you can see now right hand tremors have come up and also do like this stretch both hand Foot, there is no foot tremor on the tremor right side. Hand. Let's see here. Tell me your name. Tell me your name. Let's see whether you can speak or not. Tell me. Tell me. What's your name? Loud. He's not able to. He's not able to speak. speak. Okay. Yeah, now we are making the eyes. We are switching on the IPG. Now you can see the tremors have stopped almost immediately. It's very good. No tremors. What's your name? Now he's able to speak. Very good. Um, my name is Mbono Dube and he is Obed Dube. We are both uh, lecturers. I lecture in uh, languages and linguistics and he lectures in uh, religion a professor in uh, religion so we come from Zimbabwe Bulawayo, but we live in uh, Zambia Lusaka we have been there since 2005 so in 2007 we started seeing some signs of weakness in his body and 2008 he started having some tremors just in the right hand and um, when we were going to the hospitals different doctors they couldn't diagnose what it was until 2009 when one Russian doctor at the University Teaching Hospital in Lusaka, Zambia discovered that it was Parkinson's disease then he prescribed some medication for him about five different types of uh, tablets but he was reacting to all the tablets including uh, cinnamon and each time he would take those he would uh, uh, throw them up and then some two years down the line he started becoming very weak and drooling 
and he could not speak, he could not even hold properly a pen or a fork when he was eating. Then later on, some people advised that we check if he could be treated in India. So in the uh, end of 2012, we started searching if we could find some help in India. And we got to know about Fortis Hospital in Molundi. And they said they could uh, help him. So 2013, June, we came to, to Fortis Hospital. That's where we met. Um, Dr. Paresh Dosh and uh, he operated on him. He discovered it was uh, advanced Parkinson's disease so he was operated on and uh, from then we were transferred to Justlock Hospital from 2014 up to today so we have been coming uh, every year in June except in 2017, June, they discovered that the pacemaker that he had was losing power. It was, I think, around 40%. So the doctor needed to change that pacemaker. So we had to come back in uh, September where he was given a, a pacemaker that will take him about 25 years. And um, from then, I think until now, we have seen a lot of uh, improvement. Yes, there are t times when you will feel weak and maybe tired a bit, but most of the times he has been able to do his work. He has been able to mark thesis for PhD students. Last year, I think he had uh, three or four who graduated. Three uh, PhD students who graduated and I think about 11 or 12 master's students. So over the years, actually, we have seen a lot of improvement for his uh, Parkinson's disease. One was really him just feeling weak in the body and there came a time when uh, he actually was pale most of the times and especially his right hand had a lot of tremors and the lip you know, a lot of tremor and then yeah. because he was using his right hand to do writing, to hold things. He couldn't use his right hand anymore. So he couldn't sign, he couldn't mark using a pen or just holding a piece of chalk to write on the board. He couldn't do that. But that was mainly, the beginning it was the right hand. So he tried to use the left hand, but later on the left hand also started getting some tremors. And then the other thing that we saw was uh, speech. His speech became slurred. And we tried going to different doctors, speech therapies, but he could not enunciate any most words. Yeah. And also his uh, appetite went down for quite some years. in June he underwent the deep brain stimulation and uh, immediately after that when he was still in the ICU he could recognize he could talk he could uh, shake hands with me using his right hand something that he wasn't doing uh, for the past three four years and then from there even his voice was very good he had energy and I remember he, even some people were calling from uh, Zimbabwe and from Zambia and he could talk to them and they were hearing a different person altogether 
and then he went back now into into normal teaching lecturing and then in um, uh, yeah until the battery started going down that's when we saw him again slackening and then in 2017 they changed the the pacemaker yeah. uh, dr parish doshi is an excellent doctor and i say this from deep my my heart because uh, he has helped us all these years when we've been seeing him when we come here he's very friendly and uh, he explains very well to us uh, even the team sister and uh, Pang Jay you know they have been very helpful to us and uh, we look forward to coming to visit Dr. Paresh Dosh and his team every year And must. <laughs>